हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू ईजी डेंटिस्ट्री मेक श्योर यू हैव सब्सक्राइब टू अर चैनल बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस लेक्चर इफ नॉट अट यर डन प्लीज डू इट राइट नाउ एंड ऑल्सो हिट ऑन द नोटिफिकेशन बेल टूडे वी आर अपलोडिंग एन इम्पॉर्टेंट सिंड्रोम दैट इज द वैंडरवुड सिंड्रोम सो द वैंडरवुड सिंड्रोम इज एन ऑटोजोमल डोमिनेंट सिंड्रोम एंड इट इंक्लूड्स टू फीचर्स फर्स्ट either a cleft lip or a cleft palate and secondly there are pits of the lower lip now the etiology of the vanderwood syndrome it occurs due to abnormal fusion of the palate and the lips during the intrauterine life this mostly occurs during 30 to 40 days post conception the chromosome involved is the deletion at the 1q32 band of the chromosome now the clinical features of vanderwood syndrome it occurs in 1 to 2 lakh of population and males and females are equally affected now the features of the vanderwood syndrome you can see in this picture are the cleft lip also involving the cleft palate and there are pits or at the lower lip you can see here these are the pits at the lower lip also bifid uvula are found in some of the cases of the vanderwood syndrome now what are these pits of the lower lip these lip pits are mostly median and they are present at the vermilion border of the lip and accessory salivary glands open into these lip pits now what uh, how the dentition is affected by vanderwood syndrome mainly there is missing teeth you can see here some teeth are missing mainly the incisors and the premolars so there are missing teeth and high arched palate can be seen in these patients now a unique feature of the vanderwood syndrome is syngnathia that is congenital adhesion of the jaws you can see here there is adhesion of the jaws upper and the lower jaw so syngnathia is a feature of the vanderwood syndrome then another feature is ankyloglossia or short glossal phenom or the tongue tie you can see here there is ankyloglossia or the tongue is fixed to the floor of the mouth due to short frenum now the extra oral manifestation of the vanderwood syndrome there are limb anomalies popliteal webs and brain anomalies accessory nipples may be seen congenital heart diseases are reported and the patient may be suffering from hirschsprung disease so these are the extra oral manifestation of vanderwood syndrome now let us uh, now see an easy to remember mnemonic for the vanderwood syndrome now vanderwood just remember the van if it passes through the wood it faces very pits and clefts because the road inside the wood is very bumpy so the van has to go through many pits and clefts on the road so the van when it goes through the wood it faces clefts and pits so clefts and pits are the characteristic feature of the vanderwood syndrome so the vanderwood syndrome comprises of cleft lip cleft palate and pits of the lower lip now i think you will never forget the vanderwood syndrome after stud after studying it with the help of this mnemonic thanks for watching students see you soon with a new lecture Please subscribe to our channel and happy studying